everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I'm going to leave the subject of my hair alone. I can't, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> so, um, the advert that comes on here, is it? Oh, it's gone. <laughs> um, just talking about the advert. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to leave the subject of my hair, lack of hair, thin hair, grey hair, completely alone. Um, it, it's just a bit of a touchy subject. And so thank you everybody for commenting on the post I put on the group. You're just such a lovely lot of people. Mr F and myself are so fortunate to be part of this wonderful community that we have. It, it's incredible. It's absolutely incredible when you consider what it is. It's a group of people who've never met each other. And yet we share this real love. It's amazing. So thank you all very, very much. And I'll just park that and get on with everything else. Right, so today, hopefully I'll get round to, we're going to be making this. I've been following this Roxy's weekly challenge well, I say following it. She did it about six months ago, so I'm a bit late to the party. But um, as a consequence, I don't have to wait a week between them. I can just crack on. So this, I think, I, I did weeks one, two and three, which was making that journal cover out of an Amazon packaging. She nearly did my head in. It took me all day. I was supposed to take 45 minutes, but never mind. Um and I missed out uh, four, although I was fairly determined to do every single one. I did miss out four because it was um, fixing up a, a book cover that, that had already been gutted. And I didn't have one, uh, a book cover that I'd gutted. And I didn't really fancy going out to buy one just to gut it. So I've left that uh, challenge aside and now I'm on to week five which is this and I must say when she was making it I thought I'm not, I'm not interested in that really but I'll do it because I said I would and actually now I've done it I really like it it's a little flip it's a recycled envelope and it's this bit would stick into your journal you know you put a pretty piece of paper over that and it's got a little pocket on the back I've put some lace on it's got a tag that comes out. Look at the, these papers. These are chapter one, Blue Garden, it's called. And they are fabulous. I love these papers. And that, if you've been watching the videos through the week, you'll see that was a technique that I sort of fell upon by accident. Um, it's This is a first generation stamp, i.e. You put the ink on and that's the first stamp that comes off it. And then all these are sort of second and third generation. and it, I really liked it actually. Um, so, no, that goes into the way, it goes in that way. And then um, on this side, which is the side you'd see, because you'd only see that when you flip it out, I've just decorated with a butterfly and some bits and pieces. And that um, chapter one paper's Blue Garden kit again, which I'm really into at the minute. So that's that that's what we hopefully will get around to making but some other things i'm gonna sneeze i know i am maybe not oh i'm all right <coughs> or not, <laughs> or not. <laughs> right some other things that i want to show you is this arrived this morning now ages ago i can't even remember when it was it's it's a goodly while ago when lorna taylor from Taylor Made Creations started making her um, rubber stamps. And you might remember, because she was saying on the group, you know, she was really, on, on live chat anyway, she was really excited about getting this, um, I don't know, what's it called? It's not a laser cutter, is it? It's a some yes, it is, laser cutter, okay. Um, and making these stamps. I think since then she may have had a bit of a change of heart because <laughs> it's taken her all day every day to cut these because they are so successful. But she said she'd sent me one as a gift a month ago or so and it just didn't arrive and both Lorna and myself had sort of given up hope with it really. But Mr F kept saying no 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 it'll arrive don't worry. 
and today it arrived. So look at the packaging, isn't it beautiful? She's put that, st the stamp that's inside, she put there and she's embossed it with gold embossing powder. It's gorgeous. And it's, look at the little corners. And then she's bound it with string and put a wax seal on it, which I must say had me flummoxed for a while. I couldn't quite work out how to get into it. But then I realised that the string that went round the back, I could trim that and that was fine. And then it says on the back, Thank you in French and handmade stamp created by tailor-made journals. What beautiful packaging. Might have to keep that and put it into something, you know, journal or something. It's too nice. And then inside, here it is, the little beaut. And it is this one here. So it's really, I feel really special to have this. She is selling them. They are in her shop in tailor-made journals on Etsy. Um, I think the demand is high and I'm not even sure if there's a waiting list, I think, maybe. But they're fabulous. I love it. And so I'm very thankful to you, Lorna. That's a lovely gift. Thank you very much. So the next thing I thought you might want to see was this um, the, Among the Wildflowers journal that I made. I've actually finished the journal now. Hooray! I don't mean hooray really, I've really enjoyed this journal because it's a bit more, uh, it's a bit less precise than my usual efforts. Um, usually I, it has to be exact otherwise you know I can't sleep. But with this one I was so much more relaxed and I have no idea why. Um, so anyway, we'll have a quick canter through it and see what you think. So here is the journal. It's got a felt cover. And I did wet felt it in the end just to get that lovely squishiness to it. And it does feel so soft in your hand, it's lovely. Uh, and I've tied it with a green velvet ribbon. I've done a little bit of hand embroidery down here and put some buttons on and stuff to represent some flowers. But this isn't attached in any way, it comes off completely so it's not in your way when you're using your journal. Um, and there we have it. So that's the inside and this is um, curtain weight material, I'd say, you know, home decor weight, let's say that. Um, and I've I've sewn, all, hand sewn all around it. Hand sewn, yes I did. Um, so that just folds over there and it's, it's just nice. I, I love these colours. That's why I chose this fabric. So here we are into the journal then. I mean, these papers, I think that's what did it for me. I was just, I don't know, just relaxed into the papers. They're really pretty. Got a thread there, so I'll just trim that off when I see it. Um, so, yeah, that's from the kit Among the Wildflowers from Lorna's shop, Tailor Made Journals. Lovely, lovely kit. And um, that's another page, and I've just put a frill down here from an Edith Holden napkin. So it's, um, it's got the right feel to it. Here we've got a piece of old music paper with a decoupaged um, dog rose, I guess, with some lace down it and it's sewn around. Um, and there you can see how old that paper is. It's, be it's begun to what they call fox when you get brown little marks on it. Uh, you know, you can't fake that. It's just old paper. And here you watched me uh, do this and in fact you had an input into it. I asked you what you wanted. We had a choice of a few things and you chose this big dark green rickrack. Um, but I did that on a live a few weeks ago probably now. And just some, I've typed that out in the typewriter among the wildflowers. I, I like that page. It wasn't exactly what I had in my mind when I started, but it turned out fine. I think I like it. Uh, then here we've got a journaling page, just another little bit of Edith and some bits. Uh, and here I've uh, stenciled, uh, just darker at the bottom and just fading out towards the top. So you've got a good lot of, of uh, journaling space. And here's a little page from a seed catalogue that I just like. I just like the fact it's there. Um, then here we've got a great big uh, belly band there rig crack down it and this is a fussy cut and some buttons on there and a big card to journal upon or stick a photo on or whatever and a little velvet tag at the top lace down the side 
This is what I'm saying. This is not a typical me journal at all. And yet I like the feel of it. Uh, this, yeah, this. These are PNG files. Now I have done a video on that and you'll find it in my playlist somewhere. Um, but the PNGs from Lorna's uh, shop, tailor-made journals, and they're called The Secret Garden, I believe. Uh, and I've layered two, one on top of the other, um, as you can do with PNGs. It's a great format. Then this came out of a Wildflowers of the World book, and this is the South American page. Well, there's several pages. I just chose that. I, I like the orange next to that, to be honest. And then in here on the back, I made a little pocket from the, the page. I put a journaling card in and a little playing card that uh, Jen and Mike sent me. They're just perfect for this, I think. So they pop in there. Uh, another uh, design page, paper page. And this is Liberty of London Tanner Lawn, it's called, uh, this fabric. And the actual name of the design is Wildflowers. So, hey. It just fits perfectly and I really like the, I like it hanging over the page like that. Um, so the page is sewn round, we've got this beautiful uh, Liberty print there. This is from a book that Lynn Whitman very kindly sent me. It's a sensational book and the plates are so beautiful that up until now I haven't dared to cut into it. But it was so perfect for this uh, journal, so thank you Lynn. Um, yeah, beautiful. And here's a little envelope that I put half and half, half on this page, half in the back. Um, just some Tim Holtz wildflower dies up there. A bit more of the uh, Liberty print here. And there's a couple of tags in it. That one on this side and this one on this side. It's just, oh, it is tight. It's perfectly tight. Then this, this is a machine embroidery that Mr. F did for me, and it's a dandelion, uh, which is very, very common weed here in, in the UK. Um, but, you know, when it's, when it's sewn out like that, it looks so pretty. Um, and it has seed heads and um, ch children, well, not just children, but children more so, um, pick them and they blow the seeds away. And apparently how many times you have to blow it until you've got no seeds left tells you the time so it's commonly known as a dandelion clock uh, with a little journaling card up there and a stamp up there um, and I've I've just um, stenciled a little bit at the top and put a yellow butterfly in to go with our dandelions another little green velvet tag on there uh, on the back of here we have a journaling page some stamping at the, at the stenciling at the bottom and then I've got this lovely writing paper that's got all wildflowers around it I don't know if you can see that um, but it's really suitable for this journal and they're just folded up and they're held it up there yeah they are <laughs> with a one of those fancy uh, paper clips talking of fancy paper clips here we are and this is holding a little envelope in it's um it's a wildflower book that I own that I took some pages out of. Um, I didn't want to cut it because I would have lost all, you know, all of this. So I folded it over so as anybody can read what it says. And then I just clipped this little envelope into it, made from the design paper. It's got a butterfly and a little uh, charmy thing. On not charm. That's not what I mean. Um, gem. Gem is what I mean there now this I've left plain because I just really like it it just reminds me of being at school at primary school more so you know when you were making graphs and stuff I, I just like it so I left it this is a page from the Henry Terry Victorian garden book uh, this is a big journaling card made from die cuts that uh, Janet Rosier sent me and I'm very grateful to you Jan the lovely uh, a couple of fussy cut butterflies and this is a fussy cut here as well a bit of a label and some lace lots lots of journaling that goes in there but 
it's holding on also this envelope. Liberty print frill, bit of lace, some die cuts, a ticket, a butterfly, and on the back, <laughs> I've done so much work in this, is a, a square of sort of linen, and I've printed onto it with archival ink. Some more die cuts, another butterfly die cuts, etc., etc. You've got the picture, you know where I'm going with that. So they just get held in with another one of these fancy schmancy paper clips. They're really nice actually, I like them. Uh, and I've just done some stenciling here, just around the corners with, I don't know what you'd call it, a flourish? A flourish, that sounds good. Uh, a design page sewn around with another velvet tag on it. And that's the other side with the thistles on and that's the centre of that signature. <clears throat> so you can write what it is you should be doing, which always tickles me because... <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, uh, I don't do what I'm supposed to do day by day. I wish I did. Uh, design paper and this, I love this page with the daffodils and the snowdrops on. It's so beautiful. I love it. Uh, here we've got a belly band, some seam binding down there. And in the belly, it's all die cut stuck on there with... There's stenciling behind it, so it looks more sort of wildflower meadow thing. It's more of that writing paper in there, because it's useful to have in a journal. There's somewhere to write. So that fits into there. And then a little notebook. I've done faux stitching around there. And you know, I really like faux stitching. I don't know why I don't do it more often. This says notes, and it's got a little gem on each side. And this is one of Lorna's PNG files. And I've just sewn in some pieces of uh, that square paper um, and I've sewn them in with a three hole pamphlet stitch in there and that just fits into there like so. Uh, over here we've got one of these, um, well it's a pocket isn't it, that's what it is. A little tag, some rake rack, whatever. Lots of niceness. Another one of those cards from Jen and Mike. Go in there really nicely, actually. The back of the Henry Terry, the back of the square paper, the other bit of that. I mean, it's too nice to chop up, definitely. Here we've got a journaling page with a velvet tag on, just a bit of uh, hanging foliage from the top that I've stenciled, and some die cuts from Jan, which I really, I, I like those. I like that page, it's nice. Uh, and on here we've got a side pocket from the design paper, a bit of rickrack down there, a journal card with uh, one of Lorna's PNGs, a bit of uh, jotter paper really, uh, and another one of those cards. Pop that in that way. Then here the back of the envelope, this is uh, the Edith Holden napkin here. When I say napkin, it's proper fabric napkin, I haven't made it of tissue paper. Design page, um, and then a card, a journal card uh, that we, I think we might have made this together actually. Um, I stamped the back with random text, then put one of Lorna's images on, and you know, die cut, and that's that, goes in there. And on the back, it's just got a bit of uh, jotter paper and more design. The back of Lynn's beautiful uh, book design page all sewn around. More of the Liberty Tanner Lawn Wildflower fabric. Uh, this is the back of the South, South America wildflowers. And it's got another one of those journaling cards in. A bit of seam binding at the top. Look at the pages, they're just, that book is phenomenal. Um, and here we've got an acetate window. And when you take the journaling card out, it all matches up. <laughs> hey, <laughs> what do you know? And then when you put this back in, it hides it again. So you think, oh, that's a nice journaling card. And then when you take it out, you've got the full picture of the design page underneath. And this is um, seam binding that Hilda sent to me, and it's a beautiful colour. Thank you. Um, green pom-poms down here. I don't know why, I just like them. 
And on the back here, we've got, uh, it's a journaling page, a bit of uh, stenciling at the bottom. And uh, this, I, I do believe, is vintage writing paper and envelope. There's a couple of sheets there. Yeah, two sheets there and the matching envelope that you can write on. And you can actually use, you can send it in the post if you want to. So that just uh, slides up there. Uh, the seed catalogue, this is a side tuck page, bit of seam binding down here, velvet tab, another one of those um, journaling cards. Um, and here I've stamped behind it, stenciled behind it, and then put some of Jan's lovely die cuts on there. And then we've got the music page, which I've put laced down the side, and I've decoupaged these from a napkin and uh, same napkin there, different design and that's the end of that signature and you can see that lovely fabric through there, it's gorgeous. So the start of the second one and here we have the Liberty print again on this gorgeous, I love this page, the, the dog rose and the crab apple, gorgeous. Um, another design page and here's the page that we made, made that matches the one with the green rick crack. Um, that we gessoed and whatever and it says wildflowers don't care where they grow which I like um, and two buttons on it uh, and just a, a bit of something and nothing up there and a bit of stenciling here so you've got some journaling space the seed catalogue page the music paper page I put a butterfly on this one as well a bit of lace down the side just to protect the music really music page uh, and then this this big um, belly band here. I love these daisies. They were the devil's own to fussy cut because I couldn't really see where they ended. A page began but I'm glad I persisted and I do like that page and it's got three uh, buttons down there and some lace down the side, a big journaling card and a bit of um, paper that you can write on, take notes on uh, that Jen and Mike sent me also and they just fit in there like that and it's got a tag on this page and then here it's got an envelope attached to it a little butterfly on it um, some washi label stamp stamp lace you know you know how I make my envelopes here's another page from the South American wildlife wildlife <laughs> wildflower uh, and I've made a pocket of this as well. I quite like the fact it sort of picked up on these colours. And I've put a journaling card in there also with the purple on. Um, just fits in there nicely. This has got a sewn around. It's got a velvet tag. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful. Uh, another page from the book uh, Lynn Whitman sent me. This time now says I daffodils. I love them. Absolutely love them. Isn't that gorgeous? And here we have another envelope that I've put in with uh, a ruffle, Edith ruffle down the side. And it's got two tags in. One is that one that I think we might have made together. Not sure. Memory's going. Uh, that's the back of it. And that's the other tag. I quite like that, actually. Uh, here's another page with Lorna's PNG, the secret garden uh, kit. Velvet tag on there. It's all sewn around another page with two of the PNGs on the side. Plenty of journaling though. Here's another page I showed you before from that book with a little envelope over it. Squared paper. Henry Terry. Uh, the ruffles from an envelope holding in this journaling card. And I've just gone around the edges with uh, and stencil just to take the, the plainness off the page um, and that's an envelope like you saw before it's uh, stamped onto the linen and put some die cuts and a butterfly I uh, quite like that and this page has got uh, greenery coming from the top and the bottom a design page with pom-poms down it they just make me happy no other reason uh, here we've got a belly band with a die cut on Another notebook, uh, like you saw before, and some writing paper. This design sheet with lace down it and a velvet tag. Another design page, 
another one of these so you can keep count on what you want to do um yeah a uh, design page with lace down it that's a lovely page as well oh that's gorgeous uh and then we come to this one this has got pom-poms down the side and seam binding and it's got a big acetate window and this uh, tag behind it but when you take it out you can see I don't know if that's gleaming or not but you can you can see it's the same page I've kept the middle bit and put it exactly behind the acetate and then this goes in which is a really big journaling tag so it's a nice surprise when you open it well I hope it is anyway um, yeah there's the pom-poms and all the glory and that's a lovely page then here we've just got um, a lovely wildflower tag, some doily and some raffia. I'm pretty sure you made me watch, you watched me make that, with just a bit of stenciling top and bottom. So it's a good journaling page. Um, and the same here. There's no stenciling on that. It's absolutely plain page, and a journaling card um, with a paper, paper clip. Yeah, Henry Terry squared paper. The other, another page of that book strawberries this time mm -hmm. uh, another page where uh, it's sewn around and I've used Lona's PNGs again look at that it's, that's unbeatable I think I just adore that it's two PNGs resized and placed one on top of the other looks great here's uh, the other side of the envelope and we've got um, a library card and some writing paper in this side and on the back we've got a bit of uh, that paper you can still see the writing paper and there's the strawberries again Ooh, I'm becoming obsessed with strawberries uh, the other side of Lynn's book no it's a it's a strawberry wild wood strawberry Fra fragaria vesca wood strawberry uh, and a design pa page sewn around Look at these images, they're just so lovely. Oh, that's that same one, look. Wood strawberry. Told you I'm becoming obsessed with strawberries. Uh, here's the pocket from the uh, Wildflower book. I've just popped an envelope into there. You can pop whatever you want inside the envelope, of course. Uh, it's got a stamp on there, a label, some washi, some lace around the bottom. It just pops into there. And get this, people, this is raggy from where I pulled it out the book and I haven't even cut it off. Can you believe that? I can't believe it myself. It's just so unlike things that I would do, but I like it. So that's the other side of that. They do have some fantastic wild flowers in South America. Here's another one of these um, sort of side pockets. Take this out and you'll see. That's the way it goes. And I've got another playing card, a, tie, a clocking in and out um, card, and some um, jotter paper. And they just fit into there. And then on here, we've got another card. That's beautiful. A library card and also a things to do. <laughs> No way is that anything like long enough, can I just say that? Um, but, you know, it would make a nice start, wouldn't it? And that's got a velvet tag on it. There's our music page with a lovely daffodil on it. Uh, the seed catalogue page. And another beautiful uh, embroidery from Mr F. I think this one is cowslip. It's really pretty. I do love it. And a tag in there that's... Uh, I think you watched me do these as well actually uh, just uh, a napkin decoupaged it's, it's it's really nice it's in keeping I think a little bit of stenciling at the top there and that just fits in there and then we've got some you know, they call this stuff frogging this stuff um, um, one of these pockets here another little tag And that is the last page. What a way to end, isn't that beautiful? And that's it. There is our wildflower journal. I've thoroughly enjoyed making it. I love the papers. 
Thank you so much to Lorna. Um, and I hope that if you decide to do something sort of similar, that you have as much pleasure making yours as I have making mine. It will be up on my Etsy shop soonish. <laughs> For those of you that have favorited the shop, you'll get a message when I put something in it. It's my shop is very bare at the moment. So yeah, that's uh, that's that. Thank you. Roll call. Quick roll call. Yeah. Uh, we have Deborah. Hi Deborah. Terry. Hiya Terry. Michelle. Hello Michelle. Stephanie. Hello Stephanie. Gonny. Hi Gonny. Erin. Hi Erin. Lorna. Hello Lorna. Jen. Hi Jen. Mike. Hi Mike. Jan. Hiya Jan. Amanda. Hello Amanda. Violet. Hello Violet. Roz. Hi Roz. Raven to Angel. Hello Raven to Angel. Jean, yay! Oh, yay! Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. Uh, we have Melissa. Hello, Melissa. From Canada. Hello, Melissa from Canada. Uh, we have Robin. Hello, Robin. Candice. Hi, Candice. Julie Bewley, also from Canada. Hi, Julie. And Zanet. Hi, Zanet. Yeah. Just dawned on me, I was cheering so much, I forgot to say hello, Jean. So, hello, Jean. <laughs> and I'm so pleased you're here. It's lovely to have you. Right, let's get down to... Um, some work. <laughs> yeah, half an hour in. <laughs> half an hour in, let's do something, eh? So, the whole thing about this is that it's recycled envelopes. Well, I didn't have any. <laughs> so, honest truth, I just didn't have any. Um, but what I did have was this pack of envelopes that I bought from a recycled vintage sort of shop. And you can see it says they were 20p for all of these lot. So, for all they're not recycled, they would have gone in the waste if the shop wasn't selling them and I hadn't bought them, if you get what I mean. So, they weren't for, for normal retail, that's what I mean to say. So, I'm going to, I'm flying by the seat of my pants here, I can't quite really remember how to do it and I only did this this morning. So, let's turn it over and see what the gubbins, right. So you leave your flap like that. Yeah, you can see why these have found their way into a, a not a charity shop, but a sort of, mm, I don't know how to describe it really. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, let me just think about it. Yeah, no, we're all right. You cut off all the front. It's amazing, isn't it? You watch a YouTube video and you think, yeah, got it. I know what that is. And I sat down, this, I watched it only last night and I sat down this morning and I couldn't, couldn't remember a thing. I had to get my uh, iPad out and watch it, do it and watch it. So I have only done it once. So let's hope it turns out okay. Right, so yeah, you don't need any of this. So let's cut that. Let's get the trimmer and then I might get a bit of a straight edge. It's really nice to have you all here today. I, I really, really appreciate your company today more than most days, but well, I appreciate it every day. Is that going to fit in? Oh yeah, just... Right. I have to say, this little thing is more than the sum of its parts. I'm just going to put a little pencil line there, so I can't see where it is. So there and there. I think that's pretty straight. Straightish. And I have no use for that, but I feel compelled to hang on to it. Right, so the next thing to do is... You fold the bottom in a little bit to give a bit of strength to what is going to become a pocket and then you fold this up to just kind of on the wind at the bottom edge of the window like that so this is going to become this pocket here then I hope you're taking notes here guys <laughs> um, then you cut up that line where the flap is 
to there and then you sort of try and copy that angle to me it doesn't really matter because I'm actually gonna when I stick mine in my journal I'm gonna put a pretty bit of paper over there so it doesn't matter to me if the angles are the same or not but if you're just going to put yours in without it being covered you need to try and get the angles to match kind of so I'm just going to have a go it's not going to match but it'll be there we go no it doesn't match at all <laughs> oh who cares eh right so now I want to if I can get this window acetate off and I couldn't do it before with the other one. Oh no no because I want I want this as a template. Once you've got one template you're alright but yeah that's it's coming off sort of sort of coming off it was uh, our lovely Lorna's birthday on Friday, so happy birthday for then Lorna. She's celebrating all weekend long and she's gone to the Posh's Cake Shop in town and bought herself three really fancy cakes. Um, she bought a lemon meringue pie, which looks, oh, so lovely. Key lime pie, and I can't remember what the other one was now. What was the other one? So I told her that if she was joining today's live, she had to bring cake for the naughty step. I'm just going to trim that off there because it's just not. It's got a curled over bit on it. There we go. Right. So what you need to do now, I'm just going to stick that down because it's going to annoy me otherwise. Lorna says passion fruit tart. Oh yeah, passion fruit tart. I presume she's talking about what she brought from the shop and not actually just a general insult. <laughs> passion fruit tart. Yeah. So I don't know if any of them are left, but if there are any, they'll be on the naughty step. <laughs> so that's just folded that over and that'll go there. But now what we need is some... When uh, Rachel from Roxy's Designs, Roxy's Creations, sorry, made hers, she collaged all this. So she collaged a piece here, here, you know, you know what I mean. Um, I, I don't want to do collage. I'm, I'm kind of over collage, to be honest. So um, I'm going to use some of the design paper from chapter one and then it'll fit in with my journal. Thank you, my love. He's made me a coffee. How you kind. Uh, the the I've printed. I, I did have. I showed you them when I printed them out. Uh, printed them out onto two ten double sided photo paper. But I thought that was a bit much for this. Really, um, it doesn't need anything that sturdy. It it needs something. But by the time you've stuck something on this side and on the other side, I think it's sturdy enough. So I've printed these out onto 120, which is sort of thick weight um, copier paper. That's just gorgeous, isn't it? Yep. Uh, I don't, that's too narrow. Yes, that's lovely. <laughs> they really are lovely. Uh, that's just a bit, mm, is it too linear? I don't know, I'll leave it out. Um, Oh. This is the, dis the problem with these chapter one papers. They are gorgeous. They really are. That's lovely as well, isn't it? Ooh, that's nice. I like that. Let's have that. That's nice also. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll work with what I've just pulled out. I had a big night last night. I washed all my stamps. <laughs> I know it's not really exciting is it but how about if I put that there would that look nice I have to make sure I've got it fairly square I'm going to cut this edge off because I don't like that dark it's the only thing I don't like about these papers I don't like the dark edge on them I keep saying it if I want to ink it I'll ink it I like the choice so I'll cut that off right now now then, I want a piece that is the exact right size. It's 
start down here in this corner. Um, it doesn't have to come right to the bottom because this pocket's going to cover it. Um, but I do want it a little bit into the pocket. So um, pencil. I'm going to draw around it because these envelopes are so sort of weird. I can't even be sure that they're straight. You know, they're che very cheap and cheerful. Well, they're cheap. I don't know how cheerful they are. They haven't said anything to me. Um, right, and while well, I've got it there, exactly right, I want to draw around this window, which is going to get cut out, obviously, otherwise you can't see through it. And then it's not a window. She's working on a new kit. You'll be pleased to hear. I am blinking pleased to hear, Lorna. That that machine of yours, it's taken all your time away. What's a girl supposed to do? Right, so I have, I don't know if you can see it, but I've got a pencil line along there and down there, and then I've got the window cut out. The window lines. What are, I don't know what I'm talking about. Stalking rubbish, <laughs> as usual. Right, let's just fold that over and put a little nick in there. It'd be easier, I think, if we cut this out first. Then I wouldn't be wrestling a whole piece of paper, would I? So I'm just going to cut just on the inside of that line that we drew around the, the piece. Just on the inside, because... Then it will save me a having to rub it off and b i don't mind a little margin around it anyway okay so far so good now let's cut this out yeah like i say when i first saw these i thought oh i don't think these are the sort of things that i would use but then when i made it i thought yes that is the sort of thing i would use says you cut you ink right you cut you in Karen you got it inking around the inside of this was a bit of a challenge to me I must be honest because I'm using a big makeup sponge at the moment I think if I had a, one of the Tim Holtz dobbers I'd get on easier but that takes effort to find it <laughs> so I'm just using them this a booby sponge. So how's everybody doing anyway? Jean, I'm so glad you're with us today. It's, uh, like, oh, when Ros was off on her holidays in hospital as well and you weren't here and Nancy was having renovations done at home. Honestly, you were all missing on me all at the same time. Jean says, LOL, booby sponge. <laughs> See why we miss you, Jean? The woman says, the booby sponge, LOL. <laughs> well, look at it. What does it remind you of? <laughs> I don't think I've made a particularly brilliant job of cutting this. What's new? Huh? Honestly, all the bits of paper that I've ever cut in my life You'd think I'd be a bit better than this, really. But no. I can't even get into that corner. Maybe I can do it this way. Yeah, that's marginally better. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm calling, that, uh, calling that good. Right. So that, oh, I've cut it upside down. Oh, well, never mind. You'll get the general gist. So that's going to go there. That looks good. Let's just check. Yeah, that needs a little bit cut off. It's catching on the flap. And that's not what you want at all. I'm going to do that on my trimmer. See if you have to watch me struggle. It is just a little bit, it's a tiny little bit. 
quite used to working on paper that's on paper actually I, I usually use let's see if that's enough I, I don't think it is but I'll um kitchen towel kitchen towel I'm gonna sneeze where is it it's over there thank you sorry as I get older my allergies get less but um, I have been troubled by hay fever all of my life yeah I think it's just a little bit that top corner just needs a little bit of a haircut not much like that yeah lovely right so before I stick that ink it Erin you're quite right um, and I also need some acetate so I pulled the acetate out that was in there so now there's nothing in there at all apart from my hands uh, right acetate here we go the one says you never want to catch your flat that is for sure <laughs> it's Jean's influence I, I blame Jean entirely we've been really quite mild-mannered haven't we well Jean was the first to laugh yes to exactly fair. yes it's Jean. She's naughty. In the nicest possible way. Have you got a Sharpie over there at all, Mr. Uh, what particular? Just a black thick. A black thick Sharpie? No. Mm. I've got a thin blue. I'll use a thin blue. Got a box with them somewhere. Yeah, never mind. I've got a thin blue. So as long as this is what, bigger than the window, you'll be all right because the paper is going over the whole thing. So I'm just going to roughly draw myself a line like that. The edge is there. No, you can't see it, but it's in a bit from the outside. This is a heck of a tutorial today, isn't it? <laughs> You're learning loads. <laughs> well, then again, not. Okay. So I need to stick that on, really because um, because I do because that's what you do okay uh, what am I going to use to stick that with well I'd usually use E6000 but I have some other glue that Mr F has brought to town it's this little dinky bottle of Colal and it's for sticking on gems and stuff like that which is really what I use my E6000 for so I reckon if it's good, because acetate can be a bit, mm, bit umpty, can't it? So I don't know, has that got a, something in to stop the glue coming out? I don't know. Let's try it on a bit of kitchen towel. Whoa, no, the glue comes out. <laughs> oh, my life. Right, so I'm just going to put, oh, it does come out quite, quite, quite a lot. Just to look at the hang of it, that's a bit, yeah, that's, that's, see what happens. So that's just going to go on there, over my copious amounts of glue. I'm just going to try and push that glue back away from the opening. So I don't want it coming out over the acetate, over the opening. So stroke it out from the window away like that lovely right right Erin you cut it you ink it so I have cut this might be upside down but hady hoagie does it matter not so much Joe Ray says she uses E6000 to glue glass pieces together to make garden totems oh right that's different isn't it we haven't had that before, have we, Mr. F? Not that I'm aware. No, no that E6000 is uh, the bee's knees, it definitely is. Um, but Colal is so much cheaper. Um, do you guys get Colal in Canada and the States? It, it's, it's made in the Netherlands. Um, and so for us, it's quite cheap. 
Yeah, I can't get in there with this booby. I'm trying though. Doing all right. So if you overlook the fact that this is upside down, because I'm just sort of showing you, and that's my excuse. Okay, that's it. I've cut it, I've inked it. And I'm just going to glue that down to there. Oh, it looks quite nice, even upside down, actually. And I'm going to use my Kalal. I was a bit sceptical of using the Kalal this morning on this very thin, well, I say very thin, it's not very thin paper. Uh, I thought it might wrinkle up a little bit, but it didn't at all. Who? Sid. Hi Sid. Thanks for joining us. You are a bit late, so I'm afraid you know where you're headed, don't you? To the naughty corner. Be alright today though. Lorna's providing cakes today. We've got a choice of lemon meringue pie, key lime pie, and passion fruit tart. <laughs> so yeah, everybody wants to be in the naughty corner today. Jean says she found Colorado on Amazon. It seems a bit pricey. Uh, I wondered if it was. Yeah. But the the Beacon 3-in-1 and Fabri-Tac is very expensive over here. So. Oh, it really is expensive. It's ridiculously expensive. Horses right. For courses. Yeah, it just depends where you are, isn't it? So, doesn't it, rather? Not, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> right, so that still folds in perfectly well. We've inked around it. We've got an acetate window now. So I just need to fold this up, put something on it to make it pretty. What shall I put on it? Well, I've got, oh, I had a narrow piece of something somewhere, didn't I? Oops. See what I had that was narrow over here. Yeah, that, that piece. That would go on it, wouldn't it? That's the right way up there. Once again, I've got this edge, but that doesn't bother me because there's writing here and I'm aware that the plants seem to be going all over the shop, but I'm going with the writing. So there. So I'm just gonna mark, I'm just gonna bring it in a little bit from the bottom and then just mark where, a little bit away from the top of my pocket, do the same thing here. And I'm hoping it's something like square because I'm going to cut it on my trimmer. And I did notice the one I did this morning was pretty much anything but square. My envelope. I don't think it was my fault, particularly. I just think the envelope was a bit on the wonk. Okay, where's my line? There it is. Sometimes it's easier to see on the wrong side, isn't it? Let's try that. Let's try that and see. Yeah, that's right. just asking what your new tabletop is. It's um plastic, I guess. Uh, we went to a shop called Dunelm, which is like a homewares shop. And I knew that they would have a choice, and they did. I mean, they had a ridiculously large choice. Um, but this this sort of got some give in it, and, and it's shiny. It's a bit too shiny. I didn't think about that when I bought it. Yeah, this is it. It's like that on the back. And you see it's got a bit of give to it which is great for stamping. It's like having a whole table for stamping. Um, but yeah, it's quite, I, I quite like it. Just a sort of table protector. Yeah, a table protector, I guess. So I'm gonna ink around my um, little pocket. Put that there. 
just check that folder over here. Glue that on. It is amazing this, isn't it? You start with not even a whole blinking uh, old envelope, but a half an old envelope. And you end up with something that's actually quite pretty. And I've never made this before. You know, a flip like this, really. I don't think I've ever made before. I've used envelopes and stuff to flip, but, you know, whole envelopes, I mean, not butchered ones like this. So let's just pop that on there where we want it. Perfect, perfect. I thought it would show up, the, I'm back to the table protector. I thought it would show up the things that I did if it was dark coloured, but what I didn't realise was that the glittery bits in it were so shiny. And <laughs> so reflective. So anyway, it is what it is. Now, have I got any little thin... Could you have a look in the second drawer down, the yellow drawer then, see if there's some thin blue ribbon or something sort of similar. Thin, thin, narrow as in. No. No, okay, that's all right. I'll use something else. Uh, what have I got in my... Cream bag. A bit. Oh yeah, that's lovely. Thank you. That's perfect for what we for what we want. So I think I will just well I think my double sided is too wide, so I'm just gonna have to put some glue on there. I'll put some tacky glue on. Can't get it shut. Just force it. That's what I do. Overfilling your drawers again, Miss P. <laughs> That's been said before, to be fair. <laughs> so I'm going to pop that on just a little bit down from the top so there's a bit of a border there. Oh no, that was... Here's my Timmy towel. I didn't know he was here. Brilliant. Yeah, there we go, that's fine. And I've just left this little bit on the end and also on this end. So I can just fold it down, fold it round the back. I, I find you get a better, it looks better. I don't like it when the raw edge ends on a raw edge. It, it never looks great. I'm just gonna use a little bit of fabri tuck for that and then it will definitely stay put. Ooh. A little bit, I said. Now I've used loads. Let's just wipe some of that off. And then just sort of fold that over. Pull it fairly taut. But not so it's um, disfiguring your pocket, shall I say. Let's just rub off any bits that are there. Right, and then that can actually get stuck there. That looks quite pretty. It's upside down, I know that. I know it. But you know. I'm going to stick this on, then I'm going to have some coffee. And this is just tacky glue. I can't even remember whose it is, to be honest. So there we go. Nancy's on, isn't she? No? Uh, I haven't seen her, No? Right, so there we are. I mean, that's quite pretty, isn't it, really? It's okay. Oh, you know what I've done? I haven't I haven't made my hole for me up my, for my thing. going the wrong way about this today yes I do not have a hole I should have done a template for the front at the same time as I did the back what a silly billy I'm just going to square that up I'm going to take that side off that I don't like Right, how am I going to get around this then? 
<laughs> I don't know. Because I want that to go on there like that, but I want there to be a hole there. So quite how I'm going to do that, I do not know. I wonder if I could push through and make a sort of indentation. Do you think that would be possible? Well, give it a go. I need something with quite a hard nib. What can I use? Because I don't want to disfigure this. I'll try. I don't think my pencil will work because it's a propelling pencil. I'll try it with just the nib. This is not what you do. You um, you you cut your template before you put your acetate in. It's just too keen to get my acetate in. Yeah, I can sort of see that. Sort of. Let's get some pencil let out. Right, so if I catch that in the right light, I can kind of see that. Honestly, this is not the way to do it. But, you know, accidents happen, don't they? Right, so I've got that, which is going where? Where's it going now? There. So I just need to... I'm going to put that on there and draw around my thing like I did for the back. And hope that the acetate window is in the right place. I can see that the edges of this envelope are anything but straight. So I wouldn't fancy cutting it on my cuttery thing. So I'm just going to cut just inside those lines. Jen says some company needs to create envelope window dies, or maybe they have. Yeah, you're right. I think I might have some rectangle die. Have I got rectangle dies, Mr. Jeff? I think I have. I you believe know. you have. Yeah, should have thought. Whether they're the right size, of course. Cause yeah, but you could make it any size, couldn't you? If you cut it out the envelope as well. Oh, yeah, it doesn't have to mm. follow. So that's my I thing. think it's slightly larger than the yeah. envelope one. So that's, I think that's just a little bit on the large side, which is fine. That's all right. I'd rather it was too large and too little. And I'm blithely taking it off this side. <laughs> it could be the other side it needs to come off. But let's see. Let's just see. Right. I think that's not too bad. I, I think that's okay. Let's let's just cut this then and hope that's all we can do. Cut it and hope. Is everyone behaving? I believe so. Well, that's good to hear. Mike just asked for a link for the mega bundle. Oh, oh, Mike. Because <laughs> Jen says he needs to make her happy. It's M Mike spends all his life trying to make you happy, Jen. He's such a lovely man. As is Mr. F. They're just they're the best. Mr. F's kind of lost now because his quest is over. So he doesn't know what he's collecting anymore. Let's see if this fits then. <laughs> Not so much. I've got a bit of a bit of a wonk on there but that's all right that's what that's what die cuts were invented for don't you know so yeah and that's a bit wonky there but that's what butterflies were invented for so all in all it's not so bad all right mr f let me see if we've got a die that's suitable um 
Well, he can't. It's too late. It's kind of too late. Well, no, it's not necessarily too late. No, yeah, go see if we've got to die. I'll just ink around here. Have you got a secondary envelope? So I've got yeah, an secondary. Yeah. You only want it just bigger, don't you? Um, yeah. Because otherwise you've got a state of full there. That's it, it's glued in, so it'll be all right. I mean, I don't want it massively larger. Does everyone keep their dies nice and tidy? Because I don't. <laughs> yeah, but if we die could you now, the estate will fall out, won't it? Well, I can stick it onto this side, it's all right. Oh yeah, the estate will stick out. Well, yeah, I can stick it on here though, another piece, before I put this on. I'll see what I've got. See what you've got. Yeah, all my, all my dies just go into a big box and any time you want one, it's just a nightmare, to be honest. Yeah, the problem of the big box. Well, it is. It's it's kind of a large box, and some dies are small. I mean, they're not loose in there. They're in the packaging in there, but even so, I don't really want to carry on from here until we see if Mr. F has got a die for us. But if he hasn't, I'm ready for the next part. See, this would have been perfect if I'd drawn through it before I put the acetate on the other side. Like a numpty, I didn't. Isn't that pretty paper? So, what are you saying? Um, <laughs> sleeping husbands. Oh, well, that's good, Jean, that he's walking now, even, you know. Ah, Nancy, you are on. Yes, she keeps her filed. Oh, that's so organised. Well done. And Lorna says, mine too. Is mine too sleeping? Or are your dyes tidy? I don't know. I might just cheat and run the envelope through my printer. The ink won't stick to the acetate, so you can just wipe it off. Clever. Um, you can always put thin lace. Yeah, absolutely, Flo. Good idea. Most of my dies are on A4 magnetic sheets and plastic folders, but when I'm using regular ones, they are loose in a box. You're all much more organised than me, I can tell. I do need to get round to organising them because some I don't use because I've simply forgotten I've got, which is ridiculous. Um, my dies are a mess, all in one bin. Yeah, Lorne, I knew it could depend on you. <laughs> uh, I see it's your birthday, hope your day is superb. Yeah, Jen and I were just talking, just talking that someone needs to create a die. Yeah, you're right. Keep mine on A4 magnetic sheets and plastic zip folders I bought from Asda. Really? Wow. Yeah, basically I need to get more organised, um, is the bottom line there. Shall I carry on with the um, with the tag whilst I'm waiting to see what Mr F can come up with? So I'll just leave that like that for the time being. Is this the bit I wanted for the tag here? Yeah. So I want it. With this one, it came to there, but all this sort of lace and stuff, um, it, it actually wants to be... No? Yes? No? Well, it's that one, but it's a... Perhaps a touch big. Mm. Yeah, because I've got that a complication of the pocket now. And there's that, that oh. one there, which just. All oh, right. Might neaten it. Yeah. Yeah, do that then. But don't cut through my pocket. And and then, I'll, yeah, I'll mark that one afterwards, yeah. Lovely. Oh, sounds it's promising. Ones, yeah, no, don't get fancy with a deckle edge. Maybe next time. Yeah, so the problem was this card is um, too short. It needs to just be a bit higher. And it also feels like it's sticking. Sticking, sticking, surely. 
Where's my... I can't find the bloody anything. Let's put that in there. It just feels like it's just sticking a little bit at the bottom. Okay. So yeah, that's just absolutely in the wrong place. So, what I need to do is make a longer one, slightly longer one than that. So, I think I've cut this to the right size. Yeah, that's about half an inch longer, which I think will be grand. So, I want some paper on it. What did I do? Yeah, paper on one side. Is there enough of that? I don't like that edge. Um, just flicking through my papers. That's pretty, isn't it? Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah, let's go for that. So, I just want, I'm going to cut that edge off. it to be about there as I want just a little cream border around it I like having borders around things on the tags I think it looks nice and the tag should be should be straight because I cut it it's not a wonky envelope and I want it oh let me cut that bottom border off first and I want it to be up to there pretty tag yeah I'm working on three inches of space again is it just me is it just me that ends up working <laughs> And six inches of space with things like this cutter balanced on top of a hundred other things. I don't know. Anyway, that's that. Yes, you cut it, you ink it, but I just need to, I need to put some, I'm going to balance that on top of something that's balanced on top of something. So if you hear a crash, you know what's going on. Oh, great. Off there with the scissors yeah, fun, fabulous. Yeah, it's just still got a bit of acetate stuck there. Might have to do that with a knife. Oh no. No, I think that's alright. I think that's alright. So we've got a template now. Okay, so with this one. I can put that on there, put that on there. Oh, I'm still going to be a bit a bit iffy at the top, but uh, I can draw around it, cut it out, and everything will be fine. Are you going to cut it out with a die? I might as well, didn't I? Yeah, let me see if I can get you some lines to go by. Is that right? best we can do isn't it thank you uh, yeah what was I looking for I was looking for my uh, this so I'm just gonna put the corners in of the tag and on to the side because I want it sticking out rather than being the same height Okay, now then, what I did was, yes, where's my bit of paper here? Get that to the right, way, exactly where you want it. Like that, and just make a little mark there where you're going to cut, and there where you're going to cut, and same on the other side. Trim that off. It'll be where it'll be, Mr. Ruff, don't you worry, you've done a good job. 
Thank you. Stood there because you yeah. really hacked it out bigger than. I know. I hacked it. <laughs> I hacked it. You're quite right. I've got a lot of bits of rubbish going on. Can't get to my bin because on top of my bin I've got my box of Tim Holtz stamps. Then I've got a bag of cream ribbon. Then I've got my cutter. <laughs> All balanced on top of the bin. Right, so I'm going to ink this and then stick that on. Well, this morning was lovely and sunny, really nice, as you would expect for June, but it's all clouded over now and gone to pot. So, I don't know, this summer needs to shape up quickly, really. We're in June and it's, you know, doesn't even feel like summer. Longest day on Monday. Yeah, longest day on Monday. And there's rain forecast. Brilliant. Yeah, the, the longest day, the 21st, that is the official start of summer, isn't it? Um, I know it always feels like June should be a summer month, but it is actually still a spring month. Um, summer starts on the 21st of June. So I can't complain yet about summer because it hasn't begun. <laughs> right, let's pop this onto here. Like that. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. That's great. Give that a minute to think about life while we go back and try and recover this <laughs> this problematic thing here. So now I need to stick my acetate on again because that's the old acetate there. <laughs> that's no good. So let's cut another bit of acetate out. Oh, it's just a bit narrow. I'd rather have a bit extra than it to be really narrow because then you get glue on things that you don't want it on. Lovely. I hope you're all following this <laughs> and feel like you can go away and make one of these afterwards. <laughs> That'll be the day one today. But you never know, you might pick up something that is handy. Who knows? I doubt it, but you might. Right, so let's just put a little bit of this glue around here. This gem glue that I always think of as gen glue, so gen glue. <laughs> There we go. How much was that little gem glue, please? £1.79p. £1.79? That's not dear, is it? Right, so it's once again... Stick it very well. Yeah. Which, oh, look at that. What a Charlie. Let's put glue all over my acetate. This is not turning out to be the best project ever, is it, Mr F? <laughs> I mean, my paper's upside down. I've just put acet uh, glue all over my acetate. Normal day at the office. <laughs> right, so I've got the acetate in. Now I need to get this stuck down and then cover up some of the muck-ups that I made, which is a normal day at the office. I have to say, I have only made one of these before, and that was the trial, the prototype for this. So, yeah, I know it's not great, but I don't have any vast experience. And usually if I'm doing something for a live, I do like to practice it a couple of times at least, so I kind of know what I'm doing. Uh, but that didn't happen today. So this is what happens when you don't practice. 
so that wants to go there and there it's not too bad it's not too bad you know let's just make sure yeah it's okay right so yeah I'm gonna have to do a little bit of stuff up here and down here but overall <laughs> it's okay yeah that needs to come off that's nasty I don't know how to get that gem glue off um, there we go do you need it no I don't need it but I don't I'm not sure that that's actually tacked up properly yet so on the back back to the tag <laughs> Somewhere in an alternative universe where we're making a tag. So that's the front. Really, really pretty. And on the back, I'm going to do that um, that thing with the with the stamps. You know, where you put them on, half on and whatever. If you didn't see the video, I'll show you. But it seems to have a really nice result. Right, I'm going to have to move this stuff off my stamps. So if they didn't see the video, you're going to show them. So if they've seen the video, what are they meant to do? Shut their eyes. Go and make a coffee. Perfect time for a coffee. I'll balance that there, but it's going to fall in. Right, so I've got my stamp block. I'm not going to use my stamping thing, because I think... Famous last words. Now I'm going to put that down the middle. I like I like this one. These are the Tim Holtz Stampers Anonymous Wildflower Dyes uh, stamps, and I've got two sets. I've got a large set, which were the ones that came out first, and I've got a smaller set, which I don't think have been out that long, but I use them a lot and I love them. This is from the large set. Right. So let's just see if we can get that kind of centralish. So I'm just using the Distress Ink because I haven't got a faded jeans in archival. Maybe I should get one because I do use a lot of faded jeans. Jean, I'm not saying you're faded. Not at all. So there we are. We've got that sort of full stamp there. Full ink, full throttle. So now I've stamped it off once. I'm just going to stamp it a little bit and it gets f fadier. <laughs> it gets fadier the more you use it. So I'm just going to go there like that and then I'm going to change my stamp uh, for something different so let's use this one um, and I need a bit of waste paper which I must have somewhere have you cleaned it? what did you clean it with? oh baby wipe brilliant thank you you're welcome well, that fit in there, yeah so just ink that up as you would normally. I never think you get the best images with uh, Distress Ink. It's not what it was made for. So then you stamp it off onto some waste paper and then you stamp it again on your card. Blimey. That's really not very much there. Let's try that bit. No. This must be very absorbent, this paper. Uh, Jean's got to go. All right, Jean. Well, I can't thank you enough for joining us. I really, really appreciate it. And you are in our thoughts every single day. And we chat about you and, you know, hope that you're doing all right. I'm going to use this one for, just to stamp it off on. And then just stamp over. Yeah, that's that's more like what I was looking for. So you've got these sort of images that are kind of like the central image, but just fading away. And I, I like it. I really like it. I happened upon it by accident in a video I was doing the other day. Here's a little one. I think it's still at the big stump set, this one, actually, but it's just the smallest one. So stump it off and stump it onto your card and I think you just get a really nice nice thing I just like it so I'm just going to do the top bit 
I have to change my stamp so it's getting too repetitive. I'll just go back to this one that I've used before. I'm just going to ink the top. Stamp it off and just put that bit there. And there we have it. It's pretty, isn't it? I like it. You could go back in and put some kind of halfway house, you know, make it a bit bolder, but I, I like it like that, so I'm leaving it. I'm quitting while I'm ahead with regards to that one. Hey, Jen says, have you decided on a new project for Mr Green yet? Uh, the... No. <laughs> <laughs> Just say no. <laughs> well, I think it's going to be floral, and I think it's going to be... I think it's going to use largely some of the, well, probably exclusively, some of the people that uh, are kind to us here on the channel and give us kits to play with uh, for free. So that is Liana Scrap, our lovely Lorna, and Chapter One Papers, and of course, the Journal Boat. Uh, all of those people produce beautiful papers, um, you know, that's why I use them. Um, and I would like to showcase them if I could. I don't think it's difficult because they're all gorgeous. So, right, next thing that I need to do is, at some stage, put a hole in there. And that's going to go that way, like that. Oh no, my pocket's stuck down now. <laughs> Please, nothing else go wrong. So that's going to go in there. Excellent, like that. Then my taggy stuff is going to come out the top. You can see that um, heavier flower there, but I'd quite like to put something just there. And what I put on the other one, and what I'm going to put on this one, if I can find it, it was a little bee. And he's there he is. Good lad. Thank you for not going away. So that's it. So I want it in that sort of in that section there. And I want him full throttle. I don't want to stamp him off onto anything. He's a silicon stamp and they really don't take distress inks very well. Is my experience. Could be me. So I'm just going to put that there. There we are. Not the best image in the world. But that's, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. So that will go into there. And there you can see the flower and you can see the bee. So it looks okay. And then you'll see some ribbons and stuff coming out there. So we just need to decorate this bit that I made a bit of a hash of. Uh, right. The worst bit, the edges are fine. There's this bit at the top and there's a bit of a commotion going on at the bottom. Uh, I did cut some of these out of blue card because I really like this dye. It's the flavour of the day at the moment in this house. So I could put that up there and I've got a little butterfly that I could put there. Oh, come on. Who would know this was... This was bad. If you didn't tell them, who would know? <laughs> right, so I'm going to ink around this little butterfly. Because I cut it, Erin. So, yep. Yeah. And I'm going to stick that on there. Like that, covering over that umpty bit. <laughs> Um, I'm just going to stick it on with tacky glue. Don't mind if it sticks to the acetate or not, really. It can please itself. Come on. Come on. Oh, fair enough. Thank you. Let's spread that around because it's rather a lot. So 
So pop that there over that umpty. Umpty dumpty. Just shows, doesn't it, what you can achieve through persistence. <laughs> oh dear. Right, let's stick. Oh, I've, I've got some single ones of those. I wonder if... Oh, I've got some other light blue ones. Ooh, ooh. Oh my goodness, I've got loads of stuff here. This is my blue die cut box. And it's living up to it. So, that's nice. It's quite nice. Quite like that. Um, but it's not doing much for this problem here. On the other one, I put a, a label. So what if I was to put the label right at the bottom of the window? That would work. That would work. Um, what about these single ones? If I put that up there, you can't really see it, can you? Um, I've got this long sticky one. Um, and a single one of these. That looks quite nice. Looks quite nice, I think. Do I need one of those over there or not? No. Right. What does that look better than that? No, I think I like. No, I think I like this one. Let's go with this one. Poor little thing's never going to get out of the starting gate anyway, is it? Because it's upside down inside. So it doesn't really matter. Can I just say, actually, whilst I think about it, huge thank you to Jean, and I know she's gone, but um, for buying me coffee, coffees, actually, and also to Violet and I know others of you have done it but sometimes it doesn't let me see who it is but Violet thank you so much um, you, you keep us going you really do um, you're very generous and we so appreciate it and I'm sure everybody appreciates it actually who enjoys the channel anyway <laughs> um, right let's stick this one down This might be a bit long actually, I don't know. Seems quite long, let's just see. Yeah, it probably only wants to come to about there, I would say. It's great if you've got spare, you know, remnants of stuff and you die cut them all one day. You feel great. You've got all these die cuts. And if you've cut them out of remnants of the papers that you're using, of course they match. It's brilliant. Let's pop that there. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. Violet says you're most welcome. Oh, thanks, and Violet. Maybe meet up for a real coffee one day in Hexham. That would be nice, wouldn't it? That would be amazing, Violet. Um, now then, I've got these ones and I've got what I call the doubles. Would the double look nicer on there? Yeah. Mr F says, yeah, and I, I, I'm in agreement. I'm in agreement with Mr F. Because we'd soon know if you weren't. Yeah, it's true. Usually I take a slight bit more care than this, but I do appreciate it. It's very dull to watch. Gina says, wow, I hear you, and yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mark the date in your calendar, Jen. Yeah, I hear you, and yes. 
there we go it's got a bit of a kink a bit of a kink in the road there come on guys play the game that's it let's try and get that glue up stick them down and pick the spare glue up at the same time that's the idea okay right now i need to find a little label to cover that bit up there so where are my labels this isn't all my labels but it's a representation these are Tracy Fox labels. She does fabulous labels. That's a blue one, but it's a bit big, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Quite like that one. That one would go there. Cover up my error. Uh, what else do we have? I've got a square. Oh, there's a little one. I like the little ones. Yeah, that could go there, couldn't it? And cover up the disaster area. Yeah lovely I'm not going to ink blue around that because it's brown and it would look a bit odd but I am going to stamp it um, and I'm going to stamp it with something from the field notes set I don't know what fits there that would fit there yeah let's do that then where's my block gone sorry put it back in there oh, it's here with a B on it Yeah, I think I'm going to purchase some um, archival faded jeans. Because I do use that blue a lot. And I stamp with it. Um, and you just, it's just furry. You get a furry result with the distress inks. Not that it particularly bothers me, but sometimes you do want a really crisp... Um, stamp and you won't get it with distress ink least ways I can't so that wants to kind of go there to cover up that boo-boo Aaron Dixie says she loves to see those stamps Miss P she's a tad nosy <laughs> The stamps, they're just, uh, I think I think they might be called field notes or something. No, the stamps, I think they're field notes stamps, oh. I think. Oh, the field notes stamps. I presume that's what you're Oh, they're about. brilliant. They are my favourite stamps I've ever owned. Um, they're just loads of numbers and things and uh, round things corresponding order and then this big one that says field label and it's got all writing on it. it's like a little form oh they're brilliant i love them this one that says specimen the, uh, uh, oh yeah loads of numbers 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 they're great that one's got a birdie on it it's one with a butterfly on it that one smaller one this one that should i should i should just stamp this over this whole project shouldn't i condemned <laughs> that's my next tattoo <laughs> so there we go right what do i need now just some ribbon in the top and the job well i'd like to say the job's a good one but we all know the job isn't a good one but you know there's worse around isn't there is that all right there yeah yeah it looks pretty enough right let's get oh this is gonna make things don't fall don't fall don't fall Let's get this, put a hole in the middle, which is, I think, about there. Yeah. I'm not going to put a, a grommet in it. Brad. Brad. Yeah, eyelet. eyelet. Um, because we all know this is a totally mucked up project. I am going to put some ribbon in it and lace and stuff because... Uh, I want to. So I've got this quite thickish lace, but it's thin. <laughs> I've got thick lace that's thin. There you go. 
it's wide but it's not very thick that's what I meant so I'm just going to pull that through like so and put my new bottle of Fabri-Tac on it that will hold it I've got this itsy bitsy bit of blue ribbon which might just be enough if I'm lucky tie it round put a bow on it see if I can tie a bow with this little bit of ribbon <laughs> I think the answer oh the answer is yes computer says yes those down there we go just tidy up the tops of my ribbon because that's a bit long <laughs> to be fair Oops. and this one okay let's put this in our lovely project that we've had no problems with whatsoever Have you stuck as well? No, I don't think so. Uh, it goes that way. Yeah, there we go. Right, here's this lovely project that I'd like to show you. It's been effortless. It's been so easy. Mm -hmm. um, and so this is how it would stick. Let's clear the clutter. This is how it would stick in your journal. You'd stick this bit onto a page in your journal and cover it over with a nice design page, for example, or, you know, whatever you want to. So when you come to it in your journal, that's what you'll see. Um, the acetate isn't very see-through because I've put glue all over it. So learn your lesson, be careful. Um, but I do like this decoration. I mean, I know it was put on there for a reason, uh, but it does look pretty, I quite like it, and I like the um, tag sticking out the top. So then you flip it open in your journal. Ooh, that's nice, isn't it? That could do with a little label on there as well, actually, to be fair. Um, but that's entirely up to you, how you decorate it, what you do with it. Um, that's, the, that's today's project. And actually, like I say, it's kind of more than the sum of its parts. If I came across that in a journal, I would think that's it's pretty. It's a pretty component. So, yeah, that's the best I can do today. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, uh, oh, thanks, Jen. Yeah. Well, I think the, the I think the problem is that it's just um, inexperience. I, I've never done this before, so I've learnt loads of things. <laughs> and not to do um oh thank you thank you folks for sticking with us because <laughs> it hasn't been easy uh, but thank you for everything everything and i will see you tomorrow take care have a lovely rest of your day and i'll see you tomorrow bye now bye everyone see you tomorrow take care be safe be happy bye